the death toll for silver has rung. In this video, Preston gives us straight talk about exactly what's going on with silver. Let's get in there and start. You were just doing a big gold deal when I walked in. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and that's actually perfect because yeah. uh, I'm gonna start this straight off with my, my first comment. Yeah. It's not even a question, it's a comment. Right. You probably have heard this already. Yeah. You probably hear it in the air, Preston, right. that the death toll for silver has rung. It is ringing. Do you, you hear? This is no joke, Preston. Yeah. Okay, you have been served. This is Thanks. this is uh, Coin World. Well, this yeah. is not an ad for Coin World. Yeah. This is Coin World Market Trends. Up, right. So uh, I was looking at 30 years. Yeah. And when I look at the 30 year information, the data, it shows me that comparing, they compare gold, they compare silver, they mm -hmm. compare the stock market. I'm going to add to that a recent video yeah. by somebody that I follow on YouTube, Ball Guy Money. He's yeah. talking. He's comparing all of this to the housing market. Right. So all of these get compared together. And silver, unfortunately, you might guess where I'm going, yeah. came, comes in dead last. Yeah. Over When we look 30 years ago until now, mm -hmm. so gold has increased greatly, right? Mm -hmm. Stocks, I mean, really yeah. increased greatly. Housing market, pretty much similar as strong yeah. as gold, yeah. but silver, like dead last. Mm -hmm. Now, for somebody who's, who's in this, I, I include myself, right? Like we've been in this for the long haul. Yeah. How, do, how does that ring for you? Right now, silver's kind of flat. Obviously, silver's flat. And several several of your viewers have mentioned that, um, you know, right now it's it's a it's a, it's a dead time for silver. It is a dead time for silver. You heard that right. This is why I turned to Preston for straight talk about silver. He gives it to us straight. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. Doesn't try to sell me on this fantasy of silver. He's a true silver stacker himself. But at the same time. At the same time, he's looking at this market with open eyes and a critical lens. Listen to what Preston sees coming down the pike for silver. But it'll come back. I mean, I, I know it'll come back. I don't even want to call it a bear market. A bear market's not the right way to call it because it's it's not going down. It's just flat. Mm -hmm. it's like flat. Gold, gold's just flat. I mean, it's, you know, I pointed silver. this out. Yeah, I'm sorry, silver yeah. is. People are like, when is it going to hit 50? When's it going to hit 50? Um or a hundred or whatever, I like, don't count on that. Look at look at the fact that your your floor, your price floor for silver has been getting steadily higher and higher and higher. And I'm talking like thirty years, right? So what was your price floor thirty years ago? Seven dollars? Right? And then Ten years ago, your price floor became twelve. Now, when you say to price floor, are we thinking entry point? No, I, I'm or, thinking. Or I'm the, thinking, low, the low. I'm thinking like the low. Okay. You know, that's that's your resistance point, right? Mm -hmm. So your resistance point, uh, you know, and now your resistance point now is about twenty one. It's been yeah. your resi So your resistance keeps ratcheting up. Now it's it's been a slow ratchet up. Yes, silver is out of favor. Add on top of that the fact that 60% of the silver that is mined yearly um, that's pulled out of the ground goes to industrial production. So my theory, the reason silver is down right now, has more to do with industrial production than it does with consumer demand. Now, yes, consumer demand is also down, but look, we're in a global we're in a global recession. It's already started. Um, now, no one's going to call it that, but um, You've got less people buying electronics. You got less people. You know, it's just consumer demand for you know things that use silver is down. And then you have consumer demand for actual physical silver that's also down. So a lot of it has to do with the economy. It's the economy. People don't have money, but that doesn't mean that silver. I don't. I think long term. I still believe that silver is a great bet. I think it's. I think it will hit fifty dollars. Um, and I think that floor, that price floor, is going to keep ratcheting up and up and up and up. Now, it's interesting yeah. that you say floor because... Yeah, like a price there, floor. Yeah, yeah, price floor. Yeah. Because uh, I've also heard uh, com conversations on, on social media and YouTube yeah. of people saying that silver's hit a wall. Uh -huh. And when I hear that, that silver's hit a wall, it makes me feel like, yeah. like uh, maybe we're at a bottom. But presently, today... Silver is around a low twenty two dollars, yeah. right? Yeah. So is that our bottom? I mean, you're you're using the word floor. Is that our, is that the wall? And if yeah. it is, if it is a wall, are we going to get over it soon? You know, yeah. I believe your resistance point is going to be 
21 dollars let's just call it 21 because that's what it's been like 21 more or less has been your resistance level for the past 18 months and it's gonna hit that and it's what it's been doing is it hits that and then it starts creeping back up i know i know many stackers yeah myself included that yeah. when it started 18 months ago we were waiting for it to drop down at 19 18 mm -hmm. we we're waiting for yeah. that 18 months ago well and here's the thing it did but this is when people had more money, so premiums just skyrocketed. That's when Silver Eagles, you yep. had your premiums of $14, $15 yeah. over spot. You had Silver Maples selling for $7, over $8, $8, $9 over spot for Silver Maples. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, okay, the, the price on your screen was $18 an ounce, but you couldn't get it for that much. Nobody was selling it for $18 yeah. an ounce. There was no way you could get that. It's confusing. Yeah. Silver, when we go to buy, I've, it feels yeah. like any other product. Mm -hmm. It feels like when going to buy a computer. Yeah. Whatever it is, it feels mm -hmm. like it is a product. Yeah. And it feels that way, but it doesn't act like a product. Mm -hmm. uh, I, if I was uh, ahead of some company that was selling something like computers, let's mm -hmm. say, I, I would have some sway over the price. Yeah. But silver seems to be different because silver has other players up top with mining and with mm -hmm. whatever this mysterious silver institute is. And you know all of these players mm -hmm. that can suppress price yeah. in ways that that are different than supply and demand. Yeah. Um, there's a website that I will recommend to people, and I forget what the exact URL is, but it's you just search it on Google. World Gold Council. Which banks are buying gold? You know, which central banks are buying gold? You know, which countries are accumulating all the all the numbers that you would want to know in terms of gold. World Gold Council documents them. This is why I believe silver will take off. Is central banks are actively accumulating gold. Many, many of the world's central banks right now. Russia, obviously Russia. Yeah. Obviously China. People, a lot of governments right now, want out of the dollar. Who the heck would have thought? Yeah. Five years ago, that the world that world trade would be shifting to Chinese yuan. Oh, who no, trusts, no way. Who would trust Chinese yuan? But it's happening right yeah. now. A country like China, you don't really have the rule of law. You have the rule of one man, and his yeah. name is Xi Jinping, yeah. and it's the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah. And whatever they say is law. Period.